Today I want to focus on some basic features of the calculator that you may or may not aware of. And the first one I want to talk about is the negative symbol versus the minus or C, the subtraction key. Sometimes students get confused. So if you just want to subtract something 3 minus 5, then you use the operational key that is right here to the right of your calculator screen and then press enter and you would get negative 2. So the minus symbol would be right here. If you want to make a number negative as a negative 3, then you have to press this symbol first, negative 3 plus 5, for example, is equal to positive 2. If you were to use 3 and the negative symbol 6, then you would get an error message because you did not use the subtraction symbol. So let me quit here and do it again. 3 minus 6 is equal to negative 3. So that's the difference between a negative number and the subtraction operational symbol. The second uh, issue I want to talk about is the difference between you want to clear screen or delete. So when you want to clear a screen, all you really have to do, like I'm doing right now, is press the clear key and your screen is clear, everything is gone. Now, if you have a large operation like 456 plus 988, however, you wrote 87, then you just can go and press delete. You go backwards, press delete, and the 7 is gone, and then make it an 8. So if you just want to change one or two numbers, you use your arrow key to the left, and then press delete on the number you want to change, and now we press enter. If you want to clear the entire screen because everything is wrong, you can just press clear. You can also press second and quit. Let me just enter a couple numbers. If you press second and quit, then what happens is your cursor goes to the front of your number and you can make changes to that number. And if you want to clear the screen, then you just go to clear. Now, you, if you one more basic feature is if you want to square something or the find the square root. Like, for example, if you wish to square 8, you would press 8. And then the symbol with the x square. And then you see 8 to the second power, and if you press enter, you get 64. Now, if you wish to find the square root, for example, of 25, you have to press second and x squared, which invokes the square root symbol, and then 25, and then enter, and of course, the square root of 25 is 5. So these are some basic features on your... TI-84 calculator.